Hey guys, Willie James here from Dream House Music, and in today's video, I want to talk about if you want to play for your church, what do you do? What things should you practice and learn on, on a foundational foundational level as a beginner to be able to play for your ministry? So, just want to talk and share. Before we get in, please remember to like, share, and subscribe so that we continue to grow. All right, so you want to play for your church? You have a calling. You have a desire in your heart to be that person to step up to the plate. Maybe your church doesn't have a musician right now and you want to fill in but you're a beginner so you're not sure you know what to practice or what to learn or maybe your church has musicians but they come and go because they're looking for pay all the time so you want some consistency and you're that person so I just want to share my thoughts first thing pray and ask God for help and direction I believe he's the source of all wisdom knowledge understanding and he gives to those freely who ask right so if we ask and we knock he will give us the wisdom the knowledge and the skill to get it done and of course prayer without i mean well faith without works is dead so we got to do our part we are assistants with god and he gives us hands to play and we have to use them he won't move them for us he's given us the ability so that's where i would start right and then Let's talk about the works part. What should we do on our part? Well, I'm going to talk just practical foundational stuff. Number one is you need to learn your scales. Okay. Go from a beginner perspective. You should know the notes of your piano. Okay. That's the first thing. You should know all notes. I'm not going to, I'm going to assume you know the notes on the piano. If not, you could um, grab my quick start course in the description below. It has everything you need to learn about learning your notes on the piano. First off, the piano has 12 unique notes. C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B. Okay, 12 notes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12, okay? Okay, so, and that just repeats up and down the keyboard. Apologies if you know this already. But anyway, so on each of those 12 notes is uh, built you could play a scale but the first scale you gotta learn is the major scale all of the scales are based on the major scale okay minor scales diminished scales whatever scales blue scales they're all based on the major scales so you gotta know those first um, so I would learn the C major scale I'm gonna go fast here just up and down C sharp or D flat uh, the D major E flat or D sharp E major F major scale take the time and learn these don't be lazy F sharp G flat G major A flat the A major B flat my bad B major Okay, I would practice that and know them. Some people know them but don't have the muscle memory. They don't practice. Practice. 10 minutes a day, work on each scale, and then also do the left hand. Right? I'm not going to do the left hand, but whatever you do with your right hand, do with your left hand. Learn all 12 major scales. That's the first thing. Okay, do not be lazy. Do not skip this. You will struggle if you don't know your scales. Next step, let's learn the diatonic chords. What are diatonic chords? They're basically... They are the basic chords that are built uh, on the scale and they use the notes in the scale as well. So let's use C, the C scale, for instance. If we're using the C scale, that means we're in the key of C, right? C, D, E, F, G, A, B. And we use the number system. So we number from C to B, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And to build the diatonic chords, well, chords are more than one note played at a time. Uh, we're gonna build three note chords, okay? And this is how you do it. Simple. You start on C. There's seven chords, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we're talking about each specific scale. So on C, you start on C. You're going to just skip a note to build the chord. So C, you're going to skip D, play E. And then after E, right? After E, skip F and then play G. That's chord number one. Okay? Chord number two starts on D. D, skip E, play F, skip G, play A. Chord number three, E, 
skip F, play G, skip A, play B. Chord number four, F, skip G, play A, skip B, play C. Chord number five, starts on G. So G, skip A, play B, skip C, play D. A, chord number six, A, skip B, play C, skip D, play E. Chord number seven, B, skip C, play D, skip E, play F. Okay. So those are my seven diatonic chords, and you should know those for all 12 keys. I just did it for the key of C because it's easiest to learn, but that's where most people start because it's all white keys. And then learn how to play these chords with your left hand as well. Just going up and down. Like if you're a beginner, beginner, this is what you should know. You should know these chords, okay? And reference them using the number system. So you should know your one chord. You should know your two chord. Your one chord is C major. Your two chord is D minor. Your three chord is E minor. Four chord is F major. Five chord is G major. Six chord is C minor. Seven chord is B diminished. And then you can repeat the one chord. All right, so if you go to another key, you would do the same process. Again, if you want more training on this, uh, just check my course below in the description, okay? Ear training. So we gotta be able to develop our ears. And again, I go back to the scale to develop my, to develop ears, okay? So I use something called Solfege. It's the Do, Re, Mi scale. So, well, it's, it's the major scale, but using Syllables so do re mi fa so la ti do ti la so fa mi re do. To learn how to play by ear, you you gotta know how to identify the sound of each note in the scale. So for instance, in the C, we want to know what E sounds like. We want to know what A sounds like. We want to know what D sounds like, which is the two. We want to know what B sounds like, which is a seven. And the system I was taught, and I teach my students uh, for private lessons, is solfege. Okay, do re mi fa so la ti do ti la so fa mi re do. It's the easiest system I've discovered so far. So you just sit at the keyboard, and the first thing you do, just play the do re mi with your right hand, just going up and down. Right, do re mi fa so la ti do. So me, Ray, do. do that till that becomes um, easy for you to do. Okay, and then the next thing you could do is um, we're going to try and sing the other notes in this scale based on our Do. So Do is our home base. It's our foundation. So if you know Do, you should be able to identify and sing all the other pitches. Okay, so we're, we're using what's called relative pitch. Okay, so based on our dough, I should be able to find the five, which is, which is G. So I would just do a simple exercise like this. Do, re, do, right? Do, re, do, that's it. Just go to do, sorry, go to re and back down. Then I'll go do, mi, do. Do fa do do so do do la do do ti do 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 right and then go back down do ti do do la do do so do do fa do do mi do do re do okay so. Um, you don't have to sing like Whitney Houston or Kim Burrell or Tamila Mann, but you got to be able to vocalize um, the 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 actual pitches in the scale. Okay, that's how you learn how to play the melodies and the chords, right? So if we're singing a song like um, "My God Is Awesome," right? My God. All right, well, what is that? That's actually, if I know the do, do, my, what, what, what pitch is that? My, that's a, um, you would have to, if you're a beginner and your ears aren't good, you have to play each other to find it, but 
you get to a point where you can re recognize, oh, that's a me. My God. Da, da, da. Or me, Ray Do. Okay. So, me, Ray Do. La, so, Do, Do. Right. Now, just playing that and recognize that might take you some time, depending on your skill level. But you should be able to um, use your ears to recognize the pitches. And then in real life application, apply that to songs. Like, My God is Awesome. My God is awesome. He can move mountains. My bad. He in the valley. Hide me from the rain. You might have to go slow. Like, my God is awesome. So that's my next point, actually. Air training. After, you, after, after you've learned solfeds, take a song and try to play the melody of that song. Okay? Like, just the right hand, no chords. And then you want to um, identify the chords. So if you're going to listen to a track, and I have a video talking about um, my four-step method um, on how to, you know, play by ear. I'll probably link that in the description. But you want to now um, use those seven chords, the seven diatonic chords, and then play, apply them to the song. Okay? So, my God is awesome would be the one chord. Well, how would I know it's the one chord? I would listen to the track, and I would listen to first the bass note. Okay? The root note. When I say bass note, it's the root note of the chord. So, every chord... I forgot to mention has a root note it's the first note in the chord so as the song progresses in time the root note or the bass note will change so for instance my god is awesome he can move mountains so the the chord progression went from a one which is a c which would be a c chord to a five which would be a five chord g chord keep me in the valley which would be a six chord, which I know now is A minor because I know my diatonic chords. Hide me from the rain, which would be a four chord. So if you look here, in this song, I've just used a one, five, six, four. Okay, which leads me to my next point in gospel and other genres. There's really, out of the seven chords, there's really four that are used the most. The one chord, the four chord, the five chord, and the six chord. That's like a little shortcut, right? Every There's tons of songs you could play with just the one chord, the four chord, the five chord, and the six chord. I'm sure I've mentioned that many times over. So, anyways. So, my God is awesome. Keep me da 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 That's a five. Yeah, da 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 Da, 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 da. Just learning these chords, you can start playing for your church in no time if they do these type of simple praise and worship songs. Okay, what about um, our great right? Is our God sing with me? How great is our God? That's a six chord, one to six, not to the four. Da da. How great is our God. Okay? So that's basic playing. The basic diatonic chords. Okay? Now there's tons of other songs, but I just wanted to use an example. Um, and then over time, over a few months and years of practice, um, you want to start to learn your theory and how to shape those basic chords okay so a simple thing you could do is um you could take these major chords and you can what i call stack them which is repeat the notes so like you have c e g here and c g you know you could arrange these notes in different ways like in the left hand you see i have c and g which is the one and five of the left hand 
or I could do C and E, which I repeated here. I can even move the C an octave down to create a nicer chord. Or this E I could put on the bottom. See this E here, I put it on the bottom here, and then I could repeat the C. So now I have multiple ways just by changing the bass note and arranging my chords differently. This is called voicings. Another simple thing you could do is something I call suspended second chords, which I talk about in my course as well, how to use that. So a suspended second is, if we go back to the diatonic chord, C, E, G, uh, which from the scale is the one, the three, and the five. If I use the one, the two, and the five, that's called a suspended second. And gospel guys use it all the time in worship. So now I can use my one chord and play like this. And if I change my bass notes, like if I do an E, E and a C, it sounds good, right? Or I could do G and E, right, to change up my chord. All right, and just with that simple move, my chord sound a little better. My God is awesome. He can move. There I'm using an F suspended second. Okay. So this is my little just rant on if you wanted to start to play for your church, you could start by learning your scales, your diatonic chords. Okay. Practice your solfege, right? Um and you know, just you gotta spend consistent time in practice, 30 minutes a day, just doing these things. Um, and then again, asking God for help and direction so that, you know, you can get that blessing from above. Now, this was a quick rant. Um, hopefully it helped. Let me know in the comments. Again, if you want more help and you want more material on this, I have my quick start course, which kind of goes over this. So hopefully this helps. Peace.